classical edicula shrine from Lilibium the edicula containing the tomb in which, according to Christian religious tradition, the body of Jesus was buried Gothic facade of Exeter Cathedral, with rows of figures in edicular or tabernacle frames above the door. And two above the crenellations in ancient Roman religion, an edicula is a small shrine, and in classical architecture refers to a niche covered by a pediment or entablature supported by a pair of columns and typically framing a statue. Ediculi are also represented in art as a form of ornamentation. The word edicula is the diminutive of the Latin edis, a temple building or dwelling place. The Latin word has been anglicized as edicule and as edicule. Many ediculi were household shrines that held small altars or statues of the Lares and Depenates. The Lares were Roman deities protecting the house and the family household gods. The Penates were originally patron gods of the storeroom, later becoming household gods guarding the entire house. Other ediculi were small shrines within larger temples, usually set on a base, surmounted by a pediment and surrounded by columns. In ancient Roman architecture the edicula has this representative function in the society. They are installed in public buildings like the Triumphal Arch, City Gate, and Thermae. The Library of Celsus in Ephesus is a good example. From the 4th century Christianization of the Roman Empire onward such shrines, or the framework enclosing them, are often called by the biblical term tabernacle, which becomes extended to any elaborated framework for a niche, window or picture. As in classical architecture, in Gothic architecture, too, an edicula or tabernacle frame is a structural framing device that gives importance to its contents, whether an inscribed plaque. A cult object, a bust or the like, by assuming the tectonic vocabulary of a little building that sets it apart from the wall against which it is placed. A tabernacle frame on a wall serves similar hieratic functions as a freestanding, three-dimensional architectural baldaquin or a ciborium over an altar. In late Gothic settings, altarpieces and devotional images were customarily crowned with gables and canopies supported by clustered column piers, echoing in small the architecture of Gothic churches. Painted ediculi frame figures from sacred history in initial letters of illuminated manuscripts. Two tabernacle windows in the Palazzo Medici Riccardi in Florence. These are of the type known as ingenocchiata, kneeling on two brackets. Classicizing architectonic structure and decor all'antica, in the ancient, Roman, mode, became a fashionable way to frame a painted or bar-leaf portrait, or protect an expensive and precious mirror during the High Renaissance, Italian precedents were imitated in France. Then in Spain, England and Germany during the later 16th century. Late 18th century Doric edicula on skirt and bridge, Lancaster, Lancashire edicular door surrounds that are architecturally treated. With pilasters or columns flanking the doorway and an entablature even with a pediment over it came into use with the 16th century. In the Neo-Palladian revival in Britain, architectonic edicular or tabernacle frames, carved and gilded, are favorite schemes for English Palladian mirror frames of the late 1720s through the 1740s, by such designers as William Kent. Similar small shrines, called Naiskoi, are found in Greek religion, but their use was strictly religious. Ediculi exist today in Roman cemeteries as a part of funeral architecture. Presently the most famous edicule is situated inside the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in City of Jerusalem. Contemporary American architect Charles Moore used the concept of ediculi in his work to create spaces within spaces and to evoke the spiritual significance of the home. Thanks for watching.